Lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. Know. Got a good signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Good afternoon, people. Well, guess who's back? Back again. Ooh, our first beer review since we've been yeah. back. We've done one review, which hopefully you've seen, which was the Home Bargains Hall, being one of them, these. Um, we had to go for this because obviously Michelle's surname. I do like this brand, Love, Love Lane. Um, I kind of picked up on it because of my surname. We got a few bits and bobs, glass, a, a yeah, no, the glass was from some time ago, yeah. wasn't it? Obviously, we've reviewed some of the Love Lane ones before. I'm pretty sure it wasn't this one. I um, haven't tried this before. And obviously, with them coming from Liverpool, like Neil, it was a bit sad what was going on with them. But it seems Home Bargains have owned them now. I don't know. I haven't looked into that too much, but it seems they're still in existence. So, as I say, there was a few problems. But as... Um, as I said, we did have a thing with them a while ago. We did, so it's good to be able to try these ones. And um, a Baltic lager, a Baltic, I thought meant something strong, but obviously I've misjudged that and not bothering to go through Google and check. God, I can hardly read it. <laughs> um, Malts, lager, Munich, £1.19, 4.6%. Uh, it's a Bavarian style lager. I'm sure Simon done this some time ago and it was stronger. Mm, I might be wrong. That, that's possible. It's definitely not. They, um, yeah, it's definitely not new, but it's things. not one that we've done. Anyway, um, oh, but about Liverpool's Baltic Triangle, place full of doers, creators, and makers. It is indeed because Ooh. one of the most famous men in history comes from Liverpool. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Four of the most famous men in history come okay, from Liverpool. Okay, and this is uh, 4.6. Yep, and well, it's for vegans. Oh, vegans. Refreshing heli style lager. So uh, we could go on all day. Let's get it poured. Bloody dog. Um, it's like you wait. that barking. <laughs> it's like they wait till you. Oh, never mind. Right, so in the exclusive Love Lane glass. I can tell I'm not used to doing this. I know. Right, let's get the pour done. It should just go nicely. What am I do for now? Do excuse the, the background noise. And it's not Michelle, it's the dogs. Try to do a sod to me. That looks alright, you know. It does. Nice thick head. Okay, so what we've got there is a, a clear lager with a golden colour, um, carbonation coming up through there, nice thick foamy head. Do you know what? I'll get a separate shot of that. Okay. Just for you. I'll do it with Death Show, do the fun now anyway, but just for you. Look at that. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. Pretty good carbonation coming through. And considering it's a non nucleated glass, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Give okay, let's while. have a smell of this. So, yeah, £1.19 from Home Bargains, as you would have seen, hopefully, the two videos, the short. Okay, I'm I am picking up on some um, honey aroma there. Shut that on the back. Yeah, it said that there's honey and floral notes. To Mandarin this. hops. It's interesting. Yeah, palate honey and dry. Dry, I find somewhat strange. I'm saying that because this is kind of sweet. So I don't know. Maybe they got that a little bit wrong. Um, nose, herbal, floral, and fruit. I'm not getting no mixed herbs. There is definite fruit in there. Yeah. Um, a little bit of melon, a little bit of honey is what I'm picking up on in, in the smell. I was thinking more passion fruit or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to go on that. I'm not going to try this. But it's definitely somewhat fruity. Um, it's really good though, yeah, and it is suitable for vegans, you're right. Serve cool, serve chill. 
They said, real good. I know you might be able to see it. You might be able to, you never know. But the real thing is the attention to detail here with the malts, the hops, the nose, at £1.19, um, two units, clean and crisp. That's interesting. Okay, try this. Oh. It's not going to be what you expect. I've struggled with hop, uh, with hells a bit lately. I'm more over to the Pilsners because I do find a lot of them a little bit too sweet, but saying it's dry. It's not going to be what you expect. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's not what I expected at all. Oh, look, <laughs> now the phone rings now I'm doing yeah, this. Okay, well, She's that's a bit not late. happening. Yeah, um, okay, never mind. Sorry right, talk. okay, for me, this is, uh, it, it's not a heli style at all. It's got a real bitter punchiness at the end. Um, it's a light bodied lager style, yes, it's not particularly complex or full bodied, but it's got a nice refreshing tone it's, to it. Yeah, um, it's fruity, as it's saying on the things. I'm, I'm picking up a little bit of sweetness in the beginning, a little bit of floralness, but not overly so. And you are, you're getting help. Mm. How, how would this sound? This would sound weird, wouldn't it? I've been away from it for too long. And drunk for like th six weeks, five weeks, whatever it was. <laughs> right? It's like a fruity pilsner. It is. <laughs> Sounds a bit stupid. That's but... exactly how I describe it. So this is really coming in at quite a refreshing tone. It's it, it's light. It's not heavy bodied. Good for summertime. You've got a little bit of floralness there. That's kind of hitting you in the middle. I am picking up a little bit of melon and honey at the beginning, but that's all really nicely balanced out by a nice bitter bite at the end, which is very similar to the Pilsner bite. That's good. It's, it's dry, isn't it? They, they actually have hit the nail on the head. If you're expecting a heli style from this, you're going to be disappointed because it hasn't got that sweet malt. Well, it has got the sweet malts. It's got a little bit of sweetness there. It's running through there. you a little um, bit, but then you get hit with a, well, we certainly are, which is exactly what it says on the back. I'll take on the iconic long session beer of the Bavarian Beer Garden, a crisp and wonderfully malty heli's lager with a sweet honey and floral notes for first quenching refreshment. I pretty much got it there. I mean, Hellis doesn't have to be sweet, sweet, sweet all the way through, I suppose. But for me, I'd say it's a fruity pilsner. I really like this. The whole way through, you're getting a little bit of something different, yet it's still light and refreshing on the palate. Yeah, hot summer's day, four point six percent. These would this would be one that you'd want to buy more. Yeah. Um, we only got one of there were only four beers we picked up in the end, didn't they? Yeah. We were going to get loads of them, and I said we won't do them. So. It's Love Lane sort of one because I knew we had the glass here um, and the Canadian one. There was one other one as well. One. I can't remember. I don't know. But do you know what? That's a delivery. I quite like that. We haven't had a bad Love Lane beer. I don't know about the Session IPA though, but yeah. the Pale Ale probably go. We've done a Love Lane Pale Ale before some time ago. It might well have been that one. But it was a couple of years ago, so it's time for a re-review anyway. The carbonation on this is quite mild as well. It's it's not overly gassy. But it's actually running through you mm. as, it, as it goes You've got through you. Like bubbles it's... that are that are on the tongue and moving the flavours around, but it, it's not overly gassy where it's making you feel bloated. For me, that delivers. I, I, I like that. One pound nineteen as yeah. well. That's Come not on. a bad price. And we all know. I was thinking. We all know what home bargains is. I'm, I'm going to give it a rate my beer, 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm going to go on a 7.5. I like it. I think it could grow. I think if you were going on the price structure for it, mm. you'd have to rate it higher, but it's not all about the price, is it? All the time. A lot of the time. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a light, refreshing lager that isn't particularly heavy on the palate, but it's still got plenty of flavour in there. And that, for me, ticks a lot of boxes. You see, now there, that doesn't feel such a bite on the end. As I swallowed picking that up bit, more of the I'm just picking yeah. up more of the sweetness. So maybe the hellies is... But at first, I was getting more of the, mm. the dryness. But now I'm getting more of a sweetness as you start yep. to adjust. It is what it says, isn't it? I've got to give them that. It's 
doing what it says on the tea. That's why they're called our honey star. Oh, you see, they're not, they're not silly, this love name. But recommended by Neil, and anyone that knows Neil will know exactly who I'm talking yeah. about. An absolute yeah. legend in his own right from Liverpool. And he loves this brewery, and he pretty much knows his stuff, doesn't he? Definitely does. This one's, yeah. Definitely. One day it'll be yes, Neil's, no. Neil's tour of Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. And what a tour guide he'd make. <laughs> right, anyway. Um, I've gone on 7.5, Shell's I'll going on, on And I'm saying a strong 7.5. pound nineteen. I don't think you're going to get better for your money. Can't go wrong. Unless you're in Fuku <laughs> Island. Anyway, that'll do. Bonjour.